Welcome everyone. Uh, in this video, we will be uh, discussing two risk assessment tools uh, that uh, are fairly modes and effect analysis, FMEA and fault trees. Uh, these are very useful and strong tools uh, related to risk assessment uh, process uh, as described in ISO 31000, which is the risk uh, uh, management standard. As you can see, uh, Risk identification, risk analysis, and uh, risk evaluation are the three processes in uh, risk assessment. So what is FMEA? Uh, this is a systematic approach um, for uh, the three processes of uh, risk identification, risk analysis, and uh, risk uh, evaluation. And it looks into uh, potential failures in uh, products or uh, processes or projects and uh, also the potential effects on the system. This is a proactive uh, approach that can be used uh, uh, to mitigate the risk before they occur and it documents uh, different uh, failure modes and uh, effects, uh, also uh, likelihood severity and uh, detectability of those failure modes. What we need uh, here uh, is a multidisciplinary team to look at uh, different uh, uh, failure modes and uh, the potential impacts in terms of uh, safety, functionality, uh, performance, and other critical factors for the project, uh, for the product or uh, our project. It's important to uh, have an understanding of uh, system definition um, and uh, the important elements uh, of a system, uh, components uh, or uh, hardware, software or human uh, factors that are uh, included in the system, uh, the boundaries of the system and what uh, is uh, included or uh, excluded from the system and also interfaces. Uh, to other uh, neighboring systems. Also, interactions and functionality of uh, systems are important to consider. Failure modes uh, are uh, the next uh, point of focus for us. It's uh, important uh, to have a structured approach such as failure modes and effect analysis, FMEA, to identify and evaluate uh, potential failures and their uh, impact. Uh, three important uh, uh, analysis uh, is done on uh, likelihood severity and detectability uh, of uh, those failure modes. When uh, we have identified uh, and analyzed those, uh, it's uh, important to focus on uh, uh, development of countermeasures to prevent or mitigate uh, the risk as associated with each uh, failure mode. There are uh, many failure modes to consider in uh, projects. Uh, seven of them are listed in this uh, slide uh, as uh, functional failures, uh, performance failures, safety, security, availability, maintainability and uh, compatibility failure. I uh, encourage everyone at this uh, stage to pause the video and uh, think about um, examples for uh, these uh, failure modes. We can uh, consider uh, a hypothetical example uh, which uh, considers uh, for uh, failure modes uh, related to failure of uh, a belt, incorrect, uh, incorrect uh, installation of um, equipment or component, uh, component wear and tear, and also power failure. As you can see, um, uh, different uh, severity scores uh, between 1 to 10 is uh, assigned when uh, one is less least severe and uh, uh, nine or ten are the most severe scores. Same uh, with the um, occurrence uh, 
uh, when uh, 1 is uh, the least frequent and 10 is the most frequent uh, occurrence and also detection score uh, when uh, 1 is easy to detect uh, and uh, 10 is most difficult uh, to detect. The product of these three scores, uh, severity, occurrence and detection, can uh, give us a risk uh, priority number or RPN, which is the basis for ranking um, our uh, risks. You can see that uh, weld failure with the RPN of 315 in this hypothetical example is uh, having the highest priority uh, to develop countermeasures and after that component were with uh, RPN of uh, 224 is the second priority. In the previous example, again, uh, we have assigned uh, scores from 1 to 10, and this is uh, one approach. Uh, in some cases, uh, other scoring uh, uh, systems can be in place. Again, the prior uh, prioritization is based on the RPN, so highest score uh, shows uh, the most uh, urgency to uh, develop and attend uh, uh, countermeasures for uh, the failure mode. There are uh, different tools if we want to conduct a cause uh, consequence uh, modeling. Fault trees and event trees uh, are uh, two important ones. Um, uh, the focus on this uh, video will be placed on fault trees and there might be a future video on event trees. In fault trees, what we do is to focus on a single failure and uh, using uh, uh, logics uh, and combination of different uh, uh, basic events by uh, uh, using AND or uh, other types of gates, such as OR gates. Then we can analyze the probabilities of individual failure and combine probabilities and uh, have uh, a cumulative uh, uh, probability. Here is a, a hypothetical example. We have a, a top event and we can trace back to basic events that might result in uh, the top event, in this uh, case, E1 to E6 or those uh, basic events. It's important to combine the basic events logically using uh, different types of gates uh, to reach uh, the top event. The idea is to work backward from the top event and uh, uh, do reverse engineering to find uh, the basic uh, or contributing events and then uh, uh, develop the fault tree using uh, gates. Here is uh, an example uh, if um, we consider a tank uh, uh, which is overfilled uh, we might uh, trace back uh, the reason to two system components which is equipment or a gauge and the human uh, component or the operator. So uh, we might uh, experience uh, a failure in the gauge or uh, the operator fails to isolate uh, uh, and uh, the tank as a result is overfilled. So equipment failure or a human failure results in uh, tank to be overfilled and we have that OR gate uh, to combine uh, these two uh, basic events. Another example in here when we don't have light uh, in a room and uh, we have identified uh, basic events in here which are related to light bulbs or the switch or the network uh, in which there is no uh, voltage. So combination uh, uh, using AND uh, slash OR gates can uh, uh, lead us to the top uh, event uh, in which uh, there is no light in the room. We can look at um, a, a comprehensive um, example here uh, in which uh, we can look uh, step 
by a step into the procedure for having a, a fault tree. Um, the function that we are considering here is to provide a steam uh, to a building or uh, to a engine room. And there are uh, different functional failures related to uh, the steam line uh, or the transmission of uh, steam. It might leak, it might uh, burst, or uh, it might have distortion. We can then uh, look uh, into different uh, failure modes and uh, the failure effect. Uh, we can uh, see that the catastrophic uh, failure is uh, related to burst, which is uh, understandable. So leak and distortion are more uh, manageable failures, but uh, burst is uh, uh, resulting in a catastrophic failure. And uh, what can uh, result in a line uh, to burst can be found uh, uh, by reverse engineering when we trace back into basic contributor um, uh, uh, events uh, such as faulty welds or faulty material or uh, defective design or uh, uh, pressure control or pressure relief that can be merged into one uh, basic event. We will see uh, in the next slide how we can develop a fault tree for this uh, catastrophic failure which is caused by line bears and the uh, same color coding for wells material design and uh, uh, pressure control and pressure relief is used uh, in the fault tree. So design uh, uh, can be uh, problematic uh, if we have uh, a design error and uh, also the review process uh, is uh, erroneous and we cannot find uh, that error in the design. So there is an AND a gate between the two uh, and it can uh, uh, lead us to the top uh, uh, event uh, which is um, you know, catastrophic and line bears. Bad uh, material uh, uh, and uh, uh, inspection failures uh, need to be uh, connected with AND gate again and then uh, leading us to the top event. We can uh, uh, consider improper welds uh, uh, and also our X-ray uh, inspection misses uh, that um, uh, defective belt. So AND gate between the two and leading us to the top event. Then uh, uh, pressure control valve uh, fails or uh, pressure release uh, valve fails. Uh, there is AND gate between the two uh, leading us to the top event. The top event uh, is uh, having an OR gate because any of these uh, basic events uh, can result in the line burst. So this shows how logically and an old gates can be used in um, an engineering uh, project example. The next step is to calculate the combined probability of uh, this uh, specific failure mode, which is the line burst. We have assigned here the probability of failure for the design error we consider 5% uh, or 0.05 as um, the probability or uh, frequency. For uh, design review misses, there is 10% uh, uh, probability or a frequency of 0.1. So combined uh, probability using AND gate for that part of the system suggests that uh, the frequency of uh, failure is 0 0.005 or 0.5%. Same uh, concept with the faulty material when uh, failure of inspection uh, is uh, uh, having a probability and also faulty material and the combination is uh, uh, 0 0.001 or 0.1%. Uh, the combined probability for uh, improper welds are 0.5% uh, and uh, the pressure control 
uh, uh, combined uh, probability is uh, uh, 0.001%. So we can uh, add up uh, these uh, four uh, combined probabilities for uh, design, uh, material, weld, and uh, uh, pressure control or uh, pressure relief. And uh, the summation of uh, 0 0.005, 0 0.001, 0 0.005, and 0 0.001 will result in the combined probability for all events, which is equal to uh, 0 0.0111. It indicates that uh, for every 100 uh, lines, uh, steam lines that we install, one will burst. So there needs to be countermeasures uh, for uh, this uh, particular failure mode. What we used uh, in this uh, example uh, was uh, AND gates uh, and OR gates. Uh, we can uh, uh, have an overview of these two gates. Uh, as you can see, AND gate when combines uh, two uh, events, both of them uh, needs to occur uh, so that um, the, the top event is also occurring. For the OR gate, however, uh, occurring one of the events uh, is uh, sufficient. So either uh, A or B or both of them, uh, when they occur, uh, the top event, which is Z in this case, will uh, occur showing a probability of one in this um, I think this concludes uh, our discussions about uh, the two uh, useful uh, risk um, assessment tools of FMEA and uh, fault trees, which are uh, relevant uh, to the risk assessment procedure as described in risk management uh, uh, process standard or ISO 31000. Thank you very much for your uh, attention. And uh, I uh, look forward to continue our discussions about uh, important uh, uh, risk assessment tools such as uh, event trees.